Okay guys, so if you guys have heard of this little company called Apple, it's a really good company worth over a trillion dollars. In fact, people are buying a ton of Apple and today, April 6th, Monday, we just experienced one of the biggest growth in S&P 500 history with Apple going up 8.72%. This is like the top three highest growth in a single day for Apple. This is insane. I've never seen this before. I think I've seen it probably like a few weeks ago in that one really crazy rally because of the unlimited QE. But other than that, this is probably super impressive right here. You can see even the coronavirus, Apple didn't really dip that much. It was at $327. It's at $261. It's still really good. And in the past year, it's still up 33.27%. That's unheard of for a company. A lot of companies are losing money. So Let's talk about Apple, and one thing in particular is the iPhone SE 2 2020 edition or the iPhone 9 or the iPhone SE 2020. Now, I know a lot of people love iPhone products, but a lot of people don't really look at the iPhone phones coming out, and the iPhone 9 is something truly special. It's an Apple smartphone that's 350 bucks. Yes, Apple makes smartphones that are pretty cheap, and they're coming out really, really soon, like in a few weeks. And this is insane. And the reason why the iPhone 9 or the iPhone SE 2 is going to be selling like hotcakes is because of the $350 price tag. A lot of people buy Android smartphones, frankly, because a lot of Android phones are cheaper. You get a wide variety of prices. And not every smartphone company offers devices under 500 bucks, especially how the iPhone 11 Pro is over $1,000. That is insane. And so far, I feel like if this smartphone launches, so many people are gonna buy it. It also has Apple's latest A13 bottom chipset, and the A13 chip is in the $1,000 iPhone models. So long story short, iPhone 9 is selling like hotcakes. A $350 iPhone in India, in China, in Japan is gonna sell enormously. It's gonna be sold out within a few seconds when the pre-order launches. Another really crazy thing is the supply chains are kind of blocked and Apple factories were closed for like a very long time. So you may not be seeing these iPhone 9s being mass produced. Now, that's a good thing because with the supplies being so short, more and more people want it. It's like a psychological thing. And this is why Apple sometimes places like pre-order limits even though they have a ton of phones already. They want to have this luxurious feeling. And even though this phone is 350 bucks, if you could get your hands on it, it's enough to brag to your friends that you got the latest and cheapest iPhone 9 with the A13 chip, which most people in the world probably didn't get on the first try. And this will be pretty much increasing Apple sales. And not only that, the 2020 iPhone 12 Pro is getting 5G, the first ever Apple 5G smartphone. And boy, are they having all sorts of different contracts for that. And if you don't know, in China, the Huawei 5G smartphones sold out within seconds. 5G is such a huge thing in Asia. Like a lot of Chinese people in China, they love 5G. If you put if you could slap 5G on a device, it's going to sell out within seconds and I'm not joking, this is for real. So, Apple in general is a company that you guys should definitely buy 200 billion bucks in cash. I could guarantee you you guys probably don't have 200 billion dollars in your bank account do you but anyway that's pretty much my play of the month like apple is seriously like a big brain play like no joke this is probably my favorite company of all if i have a ton of money i definitely will be buying like some apple shares and just simply hold it apple is going to recover to 300 easy it's going to recover to 327 easy and it's going to be breaking records to 400 even 500 dollars yes it sounds kind of crazy that 262 dollars would be 500 bucks but it could be an actual thing this is pretty awesome and that's about it thanks for watching